I'm going to just look a little bit on Hobaleaks. I think that there's, we're going to look at this closer. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's, let's start out by looking at, uh, at Hobaleaks a little bit to try to figure out what just dropped. So as of the time of this recording, this update is two hours and 30 minutes, 40 minutes old. So, uh, there could be things I don't know. There could be things that could be added or changed. Uh, so, but either way, this was added today and this only includes the things that were added today, not things that were already part of, uh, Sissy or added or changed. So we have, uh, information about an event. Actually, let's just start with the, uh, the strings for the event. Okay. Um, I don't want to bury the lead. It does not necessarily indicate that this has to be a Capsuleer Day thing, I don't think. But it pretty strongly corresponds with it. I don't, I don't know whether or not it will. But um, we have... I apologize. <laughs> uh, where are the descriptions? Oh, here we go. So we have two different definitions. We have the Directive Enforcement Division. Um, so this is it, it, this suggests that it is uh, Capsuleer Day because like this would be the header. This would be the like option one. You would you would select th this would be the header for this option one, which would be the DD side, which then would like show off this perhaps. And then it says Concord has uh, revealed the existence of a major network of underground underworld smugglers and mercenaries operating across New Eden and has requested assistance from capsuleers in attacking their facilities. Look for smuggler hideout combat sites in high sec, null sec, poachfin and wormhole space, as well as more challenging smuggler stargate combat sites in low sec space. These sites can be found using your ship's built-in anomaly scanners. The acceleration gates to enter these sites uh, allow access for all combat ships of battlecruiser size and below, including T1 and T2 battlecruisers, T1, T2, and T3 cruisers. Concord recommends the use of battlecruisers, heavy assault cruisers, strategic cruisers, or command ships to defeat the hostile ships within these sites. Additionally, smuggler dead drop hacking sites can be probed down in high sec, null sec, poach fin, and wormhole space with the more secure smuggler stash hacking sites found in low sec space. These data sites can be found using scanner probes. The data and analyzer modules will be required to hack, open the containers, and collect the loot within. So, um, sorry, data analyzer. Yeah, so not a relic analyzer. It's a data analyzer this time. It's a data site. Uh, on the other half of it, yeah, it has Capsuleer Day above both, so this is almost certainly for Capsuleer Day. Uh, Smuggler Asset Liberation, underworld, underground, underworld Smugglers. The leader of this shadowy smuggler network has called for Capsuleers to fight back against Concord suppression and liberate the loot from their former facilities. Look for confiscated smuggler hideout combat sites in low sec, da 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 So, you're going to the same sites, smuggler hideouts and smuggler stargates, as well as hacking the same sites... No, we're hacking different sites because we have smuggler dead drop hacking sites and uh, smuggler stash hacking sites. And here we have Concord mobile impound lot hacking sites and Concord mobile impound storage hacking sites. So we don't know which one it's going to be or like if you have to uh, choose one or the other or, or what's going on. But this is what we see so far. So, yes, T3 cruisers. Hey, what's up, Nth Dimensional? CSM candidate Nth Dimensional at that. Uh, or prospective CSM candidate, I guess, to be technical. Oh, and Ginger Flame. Hey, let's do. go ahead and do some shout outs. Hold on, hold on. Nth Dimensional and... Uh, Ginger Flame. Anybody I'm missing? <clears throat> Alright. So, now let's a little look at the actual items that have been added. So we have the Smuggler Dead Drop and the Smuggler Stash. We have 
uh, this is probably just like stuff. Concord prohibited item storage and Concord contraband containment con uh, con uh, con containment container. So it's interesting because these are clearly two different sites with two different types of items. I wonder if one will only be scannable by one side and one will be scannable by the other. I have no idea. The skins for uh, Capsuleer Day already went in. We can look at them if you want. But there are new drugs. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and grab the drugs and look at those real quick. Because I haven't looked at them quite yet, but I also have gotten the impression that they're kind of wonky or, you know, bonkers. So... Go ahead and open up the notepad. New note. Uh, C19. Boom. Okay, so we have low observability booster. Concord is the true enemy of all Empyreans. So low observability, plus four to sensor strength, negative four to signature radius. That's really interesting with its top bonus being 16%. 16%. Uh, pretty sure with this booster, uh, Marauders go back to being unprobable when in, when in Bastion. That is a big deal. T3s, for sure, or almost certainly, will be able to use this to go unprobable. Both the sensor strength... Sensor strength effectively reduces your signature radius, and this reduces your signature radius. So you can make it so that it's near impossible or actually impossible to scan you down. Next, scan boosters, up to 16% scan resolution and strength. That's also very strong. Shield booster uh, effectiveness, so that's shield reps. Armor reps, up to, so it's 12% uh, shield, 8% armor. Blockade running booster, stasis webifier resistance, immunity to cargo scanners. Huh. It seems odd that you would like add a resistance. You would think that you would actually make you make them weaker to uh to webs, make webs more effective. Was that armor resist? You're right. Absolutely. Eight, uh, so armor resistance versus shield boosts, which makes sense given the difference between shield and armor tanking. So this one's really interesting. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye on this one. Apprehension booster. 16% Warp Disruptor and Scrambler range. That's pretty nasty. And plus four Scramble Strength. and uh, Or plus four points, basically. Oh, that's... I mean, that makes everything unprobable. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure that makes everything be able to be caught. I even think... Of, because that gives you five points. So I'm reasonably sure that's more than... That beats even a bonus chip. So that's kind of terrifying. But, you know, maybe they, they can't catch you. Um, yeah, I did see that. We haven't gotten there yet. Uh, caps have more points. That's true. But it's apprehension. It, 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 it's clearly the amount of points that it takes to make it so that the person can't escape. Right? Negative uh, 8% launcher cycle time. So basically 8% haste. And 40% missile launcher reload time. That makes rapid lights or rapid missiles during this time absolutely crazy. Um, if this is... So this is type 6. And this is type... Oh, they are... No, slot 15. Sorry. And... Uh, slot 17. So you could actually go with this shield booster... 
and the bay loading booster for your Gila or whatever. Or Cerberus. Yeah, exactly. That's ridiculous. Um, and then turret booster. 8% damage, 8% additional optimal range. I don't see those two things as equivalent, but okay. Uh, so yeah. So if you go with the smuggler, you get the missiles, the shields, and the can't be seen. If you go for Concord, you get the turrets, uh, the apprehension, and the armor, and the and the scanner. Sleep speaking. Thank you for joining us down the rabbit hole, Steve Online. Now, you may actually it may actually be the opposite, right? Because you know if you're working for the smugglers, you're going to be attacking Concord. So uh, that means that. Um, that means that you would potentially get the enemy's boosters in the sights. But very likely, the, some of these boosters are going to be part of the reward track for doing the event itself. Um, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen here. It, it may end up being a relatively short event, um, given the fact that normally... Uh, Capsuleer Day isn't that big of a deal. Um, let's see. When does Capsuleer Day actually happen versus FanFest? FanFest is on... What is FanFest? When is FanFest? Let me look. The 6th. And then uh, Capsuleer Day is the 6th too, right? Yeah, sixth. So, oh, that's right. So FanFest corresponds with the 19th, exactly, like the, the 19th anniversary of EVE Online. It is, it, FanFest is on the day of, yeah, like uh, EVE Online's birthday. That's crazy. Okay, I, this, this leads me, uh, this strengthens my theory as to what's happening. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. In the meantime, uh, let's see. We have... Right. There's also the event... Uh, there's also going to be a PvP event in which everybody gets, like, 19% bonuses. It's going to be hard to, for you to make an event video because you'll be at... Uh, you'll be at FanFest. I have a suspicion that uh, the event may last... Let's see. Hold on. Let's assume that they are launching the event as late as they possibly can. Well, they they could start the event on Tuesday, which would be the third. And then it would go two weeks, which brings us to May 17th. And May 17th is a very interesting date indeed. All right. Um, anything else? We got... The boss spawners, we've got the buffs, uh, storage hangers, pirate station, Sino Beacon wreck, Encore base spawner, da 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 da. This is just the accoutrement. A smuggler astrohus and a smuggler research cent center. So if you're fighting against Concord, you're going to be fighting. Um, Sorrow Agents, Pacifier, Skybreaker, Nemesis, Confessor, Enforcer, Stormbringer, Curse, Bobos, Talos, Raptor, Hyena, Manticore, oh, sorry, Smugglers. I, I went over to the Smuggler side. So the Talos is the last one. And then if you fight against the Smugglers, you're going to fight Raptor, Hyena, Manticore, Draugr, Basilisk, Cerberus, Rapier, Icky Tursa, Tornado. Um, and then the, the bosses are going to be a uh, a captain in a uh that's the battleship isn't it um, yeah that's the thunder child right yeah um and marshals and the smuggler side is going to be looks like a, a 
probably like a widow and a panther. I think that that's probably what they're going with. Uh, I alphas might be able to do stuff in battle cruisers. Um, I would recommend teaming up. Yeah. This is the Concord versus Smugglers. That's correct. Um, it had a name. So, the expansive hideout belongs to a shadowy network of underworld smugglers that have been recently, recently become the target of a major DED anti-smuggling operation. So, this has actually been building up in the lore a long time. Um, there's been this weird buildup. Uh, I've mentioned it before, but I've always been kind of confused about it um, because, like, there's a lot of going ons between the pirates. But, you know, increasing agreements between angels and Serpentis and Garistus have been going on. Um, so I see this is very, very likely amping up towards maybe what we're going to see at FanFest and beyond. Who knows? We'll talk about that in a different segment. So then we have, um, the secret Stargate complex once belonged to smugglers, but is now occupied by members of Concord's Ruthless Sorrow Division. The smugglers have requested that capsulers assist them by attacking these Stargates and driving off Sorrow ships nearby. The acceleration gates used to enter this site allow access for combat ships of battlecruiser size. The smugglers rep recommend the use of P2 battlecruiser, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is saying that they ask you to assist them in driving them off. I wonder if this is like a King of the Hill thing or if you're going to go, go into an active war zone, right? Like, it's hard to say. Or, yeah, I mean, it really seems like there will be Concord in the smuggler side fighting them, and there will be uh, smugglers on the Concord side. Right? Hold on. Yeah. The smugglers have requested that capsulers assist them by attacking... Oh, no, maybe not, because you're assisting you're assisting the pirates by attacking the sorrow. So probably not. It could just be a normal site. We'll have to see. But it looks like it's probably just the just a normal site. So we're probably going to look at the uh, the Talos being a, the major damage dealer for the um, early waves. Cerberus is going to be nasty. We have a smuggler Draugr. Do we have an equivalent for that's interesting because like the Draugr is of course uh, a command destroyer and it looks like they they're using a confessor instead on the sorrow side um it's because kashi is, is already a trick love is kashi of Alcanir. spoilers um yeah remember when we built that jump gate to concord for a uh, concord space to for future re reasons oh pepperidge farm remembers my friend All right, um, let's see. Is there anything else that we want to look at here, or can we move on? Um, so I'm going to guess that the crates are things that we're going to get during the during the logins or something like that. This is the random version. Uh, let's see. Okay, what's this boo book? Although it appears to be nothing more than a ca uh, common Caldari shuttle at first glance, under the surface, boo book... Jay Blaze, thank you for joining us down the rabbit hole with you online. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, Boo Book has been heavily modified to make it more effective smuggler of small volume cargoes past customs checks and blockades. In addition to interdiction nullification features common to all modern shuttle, shuttles, Booba Cargo Hold is layered with sensor-disrupting nanomaterials and block cargo scanner modules from detecting the items contained within. It also supports an upgraded suite of low-emission electronics designed to reduce the ship's signature radius and make it more difficult to pinpoint with combat probes. I now suspect that this blueprint uh, is going to be uh, the jackpot drop, probably for attacking the smugglers. I would assume. So, 
Interesting. And it requires one life support packup unit, one auto two auto integrity seals, some isogen, and some titanium. Interesting. Yeah, I, I imagine this is going to be a, a rare drop reward. We also have the smuggler lockbox, which says uh, this crate is equipped with advanced quantum encoded locking mechanism, layered paint, uh, plating that prevents penetration by scanners and explosive anti-tempering devices that trigger if anyone other than the original creators attempt to open it. It was recovered from wreckage belonging to a network of underground s smugglers and is clearly used to tra transport valuable smuggled items and or data. You can't access it. The major empires and pirate factions, however, would be willing to purchase these lockboxes for 1 million esque per unit under the assumption that they'll eventually be able to crack the security. So, uh, you know, obviously this is going to be the main uh, reward. And this is why, like, you're not actually attacking, like, real Concord facilities. You're attacking Concord. Concord has already taken over some of these pirate facilities. And now you're attacking the Concord that have taken over the facility. Like, if you're working for the smugglers. So, uh, do we have the... The Stargates, we have Confiscated Smuggler Hideouts, Stargate. Yeah, okay, never mind. This is both sides. Confiscated means it's uh, Concord being possessed by Concord. Just non-confiscated non, uh, means that it's still controlled by the smugglers. That makes sense. Uh, that is interesting. One of the things I find, is there like a, let's see if there's like a overall text this is about the proving grounds um this stuff here is don't get too excited this is all they are adding strings this is all stuff from the liberation day games so i don't know why they did it exactly but um they're just dinking around with other stuff um likely part of their like copy paste when they make when they make new types of events like, for instance, if they use the template of Liberation Day games to make this one, then you would still see some of these things as they, like, copy it over and then don't use it all. Um, docking has been prohibited into this into this Caldari station without proper authorization. I assume that that's being cheeky. I don't think that you can get uh, authorization to dock in, these, in the research outpost, I would assume. Um... I expect Ash will be with the smugglers. Yeah. Ash is a thousand percent fighting Concord. Um, special affairs and regulation and order. Sorrow is a secretive elite branch of Concord's directive enforcement department. Their officers are authorized to respond preemptively on, to all potential threats up to and including firing on interlopers on site. And uh, this ship is defending assets of a major underworld smuggling ring. Okay. Um, it, hmm. This isn't even something for you to play with. Here, why don't you... Hey. Go destroy something over there. Um, yeah, I don't see like the one. Okay, so we have I am the law, enter a smuggler, hide, hide out or stargate in a battle cruiser, smaller ship. Um, destroy the smugglers, destroy the boss. We're going to have the same problem with other previous events, probably. Um, and then I aim to misbehave would be the alternative. Pick a pocket or two would be the data site for the for the um for the smugglers. Ah no, this is the this is the one we already read. This is the uh, DD version of it. This is the smuggler version of it. Fireworks, the Capsuleer Starburst Pyrotentic Charge was created by to celebrate Capsuleer Day. 19th anniversary of the dawn of the Capsuleer Age, opening up New Eden's frontiers by immortal clone space pilots. Uh, well, oh yeah, okay. Capsuleer Day 19 is a time of celebration for cloned and capsule spaceship pilots when, while New Eden looks back on the achievements of Capsuleers and wonders what challenges, risks, and opportunities the future may hold. 
Um, yep. I think that's it for Sissy. Yes, uh, the Concord ships in, in the Abyss are Sorrow. That is correct. And I'm reasonably sure Oveg Dursk is the head of Sorrow at this point. I know he's the spokesman. He was the spokesman for Genesis Fleet, and uh, now he's the spokesman for Sorrow. <laughs> 